Okay, good morning, everyone. Can everybody hear me? Uh, yeah, Bill, I, I saw that you entered on time. Again, it's, you know, when we have a lot going on, it's my full concentration. We don't, we don't have a lot going on today. I mean, there's only a couple things to look at. But, I mean, starting tomorrow, we're going to have a lot of things to look at. Because the earnings season starts tomorrow. We do have a couple of things today. Of course, this market is up this morning. Really, just in 15 years of trading, this is the sloppiest market that I've literally ever seen. So, again, we're just going to stay on pace here, doing our own thing, not worrying about the market. I like fast the best. Problem is, fast is very spready, and it's very whippy. It's not much I can do about it. So, you know, um, I did see the Infi. It's an ADR. It, it's fine, but I don't know if that goes right out of the gate. I still like fast better. We can look at Infi later. I was trying to look for something to go long. I was trying, 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 trying so hard to find something that I could fall in love with today to go long. I mean, we have 30 seconds here. Does anybody have any bullish gaps they want me to look at? I mean, I literally looked at what I think was everything, and I, I can't get behind anything. I just, I can't talk myself into anything to go long today, but I tried. Does anybody have any last minute things they want me to look at long? I mean, I'm happy to go long today, but, you know. I think the market's gonna wait for tomorrow. We can talk about the market later here when we're done. And also we gotta make sure this fast is open before we do it. So let's find out. Ooh, here we go. Okay, it's really spready though. Let's wait. Back, let's look at Infi quick. Infi is trying to go. We gotta get something quick. Flip it on over to Infi here. We gotta do something fast. Let's do 75 by 10. 75 by 10 Infi. I'll go back and look at fast in a minute. 75 by 10 is valid. Good entry here if it hits. There, get it, do it. Do it right now. And in fact, let's put it at 20. Put it at 1620, 1620. Be in it if you want it, Infi. Or you can wait till it breaks, but I think it's gonna go. 1625, let's put it, just to be safe. I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, this is stuck here now. What's going on? Is anybody in it with me? We're on Infi. Can you see the screen, Vincent? Vincent, can you see the screen? I only have one thing up. I know you were having sound issues. Okay, my computer seems to be going good today on the internet, but this is sitting here in its butt. Jackie's in it. Anybody else? Why isn't this moving? There, just moved. Oh, this is strange here. Why isn't it moved? There, 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 there. Here we go. Here we go. Infi, you got to be in it. Don't even worry about fast. We'll talk about it later. 1550, 1540. Again, this is a snail. We'll talk about AAL. It went to the dream target. It went past the dream target. It doesn't matter. Again, we have to stay on track and get in and out quickly. We got to do it. I mean, that's just the only way. I'll look at fast quickly, but uh, I'll look at the PGR. PGR is very spready. Very spready. And fast is kind of a mess. That's a shame. All right, here we are. 64. Make sure you have this top in. I adjusted it. 1625. And that should hold, to be honest with you here. And I hope it does hold because I don't really see anything else setting up. Again, 
perfectly willing to go long today. I was trying to talk myself into it. I looked at everything. Just can't, can't press the button to go long right now. It's just not there. We're in the infy, Vincent. If you still want to do it, you could do it. It's only a couple of pennies shy from the entry, and with all the internet issues I've been having, I thought that I was having speed problems here, but I think this is just the way that this thing is acting. I'm crossing my fingers that, that the issue in the internet is fixed today. I think 64 is the low. Let's just take a quick peek here at the market. Nope, I wouldn't even be surprised if we failed today. Just couldn't talk myself into going long. Qs are trying to do it. The SPY, I think, is going to fail, and therefore the Qs will too. So this is really just the trickiest market ever. I mean, we started to see that by the second, third week of January, and then it just continued, and it's just never going to end, and I guess this is going to be the whole year. It could be. People need to know that. So that's why we just got to focus on selective days when we do the market and selective stocks like this. I don't like the way fast acted. I'll go back and look at that, but I would leave that. And today is not a day to be aggressive. Market's a mess. I didn't look at AL today. I'll look at it later. Make sure you have this top and it's 1625 because I don't think this should go over that if it's going to go. And we could have added to AAL yesterday. I said it, but I didn't want to be aggressive, so I'm not going to add to this either. I'm just not. And I'll take 1550 in this today, 1540. I'll take a wee little bit because, again, we really don't get the busy season start till tomorrow. But if you didn't do it, you could do it right here. If you did not do it, it's do or die now. Here we go. Under 64, hand of the button. One more push if we can get it. Infy. Here we go. Under the low. Here we go. We have to go over snow. I don't know if we'll... Here, there. Boom. New low and infy. We got to push through 60. I wanted to go over the snow from the other day because I saw something yesterday about it. If we have time here. We can go over that. That was the day I was having internet issues, but I did look at that harder yesterday. What's happening with Netflix, Gen T? Is it rallying or dropping? Here we go, Infi. Is there a reason Netflix is up or it's just the market? Why is Netflix up? I don't, I don't think I'm doing it, but I'll look at it if you want. Because we're up in this and we just got to give it one more push in here and we'll be okay. Again, this is sort of a snaily thing. AL was snaily yesterday too. That's okay. I'll take a snail. Snails are still money. Here, I'll quick look at Netflix. Snails are still money. Netflix. I have to look up the earnings in this. Is it next week or the following week? I think it's next week. Again, if the market fails, this is going to fail. I'd love to talk myself into this. I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't talk myself into going along this. Nope. Lay low. 418. There we go. Gerard said 418. Niner. So that is Friday. Tuesday. Was it Wednesday? Wednesday. Okay, who's in the infi with me? Who's in it still? Who didn't do it? Who got out? Who's still in it? Again, this, this, you just have to look at it and you just say, okay, this normally goes 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents is a big day for this. So that's the bugaboo. So we went 40 cents already, but this really was the best thing to do and fast didn't act right. So 
Roman's in it. Yeah, Netflix is next week. We can look at the whole gamut of next week, but I don't think we should worry about that till Monday. Let's focus on what we have out tonight, tomorrow morning, which is, of course, the banks. And so, again, there's so much data that happened in the last 24, 48 hours you could sift through. And depending on what channel you turn on the television will give you a different opinion about where you think the market's going. So it's kind of funny. But we're just, we're so range bound that I don't know how anybody could even possibly think that we're gonna get out of the range anytime soon. Here we go. Infi, one more push. Oh, fast thinking here that I flipped onto this because we wouldn't have done anything. We wouldn't have done anything if we hadn't done this because nothing else is setting up right. The market's probably gonna fail. Didn't want to go long, couldn't like anything. Not good enough and fast was a bust. We can get this at 1550, I'll be thrilled. I'll be jumping up and down. Here we go. Every penny counts. We still don't have a theme song for 2023. We can't, we can't come up with anything. I'm creatively barren since all my energy is zapped from the internet issues. Unpacking, internet. Got to get my mojo back and my creativity here. Come up with a theme song for us for 2023 before, before 2023 is over. So we're going to get out of this with money. I just don't know where. Have to be a little bit patient. The sooner the better. Let's check out the market while we're waiting quick. Let's just quickly. Again, the cues look so different from the SPY as well. It's very interesting. Well, it is moving. I mean, look at the volume, but it's just slow. But this is how this stock trades. If you never traded before, this is pretty much par for the course for Infi. So anyways, while we're waiting for this to go, market sold off yesterday. Fed minutes came out. Again, we reacted positive in the morning. Fed minutes came out, and they finally, finally, finally admitted we could go into a slight recession by the end of the year. Like, anybody didn't know that. So basically, we're going to go into recession, which everybody knew. And just like they said, inflation was going to be temporary. It's not going to be a slight recession. It could be a deep recession, and that's it's problematic for the economy. So it's interesting that they finally came out and said it. Like, that's going to make anything better. But that's why the market sold off yesterday, or at least one of the reasons. There were other things too, but market isn't going to forget about that today. Even if it does, it won't last. It'll be short-lived at best. So let's just see. 
short-lived, short-term memory. You want something that moves fast? I want something that moves fast, Roman. Give me an idea, give me something. Nothing's here. And if the market fails, all the things that were up that people were pointing out, Netflix, this thing, that thing, BA, they're all gonna, they're all gonna tank with the market if the market fails. So I don't have any conviction the market's gonna hold up today. Again, 13 minutes into the open, it's trying, but not, not looking good. Again, if the market was really gonna run and really gonna go, we started talking about this the other day and then I forget why I got distracted with something we'd already be ripping up we're not doing it like every opportunity the market has to go it refuses to do it so why there's just not enough buyers give me something that's moving give me another idea meta i think MP's fine it's a snail that's it's not doing anything wrong MP isn't doing anything wrong at all and if it bothered you with snail you should have got out with you know 10 15 cents but it's really not doing anything wrong it's just a snail well, this is up. This is too late here. I needed this idea before the open. I don't know if I would have done it, though. I don't think I would have done this over empty, but this did have a move. We would have been in and out of this already. This could be it. Done. Boom. Too late for that. Again, if the market fails, then all these things that are up are going to fail because they're all up, because they're up with the market. There's no other reason for anything to be up. That's why I was talking about earlier. I tried to talk myself into doing something, anything, anything at all. I tried to look at something that I would say, I want to go long this and I don't care if the market fails. I, I found nothing. Zip, zippity doo dah. Nothing. Here we go. Infy's fine. We need to be a little patient. We're, we're up in it. It's not a million dollars, but it's not doing anything wrong. Adobe, this is not something I look at every day. Again, something that normally you would say should be going, should be over 380, should be rallying, should be, should be at 400, should have got to 400. You know what I'm saying? Like, those of you that have been with me for a long time that have played these things, which we've done back in the day. Don't you remember back in the day, 2018, 2019? Back in the day when we were going long, every single second, the market, everything, doing options, everything was ripping. And stuff was cheap to buy, too. That's, we're never going to go back to that again, but just you don't you, we don't see that with anything we might see that with some things with earnings season we lose another great example that should be ripping higher it just it's it, it's just it won't go it's got no juice i mean it's just you know tesla i like lower Tesla i've been liking lower wait for tesla to fail and then maybe the spy rolls over this is actually a good short not right this second, not right now, not right this second, but this is lower. Okay, let's not panic. This is fine. Back in the day, oh, oh, you're talking about when we used to go long all the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The BYND days. The Tesla days. SMH. I don't know what that is. Semiconductor ETF. Let's look. Uh, this is sitting on its butt. Had a big move yesterday. Here we go. Let's just see if we can get this to in the 50s or the 40s or something here. I saw Dow this morning, but again, I didn't want to go long it, and it is failing. And actually, again, this is probably a good short. I don't want to do more than one thing today, and we're up in the, whatchamacallit, the MFI, but if you're dying to do something else, this is probably lower too. I don't really like that gap, but nobody's going to buy that today, that's for sure. That's for darn toot and chore.
So plan of action for today is to make money in this, whatever we get out of it, and call it a day. Then we're going to go over what's in tomorrow morning. We can look at everything and go over the snow quick. Why are we up this morning? Because there was a number this morning that said that said with inflation slightly went down, like 0 .000 penny or something. I was ridiculous. Like, again, we're up. Prices of things are up. It's just like we went down like a it's like a hair. It's like if you're trying to lose 50 pounds and you get up in the morning, you lost a half a pound. <laughs> Woo, a half a pound. I mean, I don't think it's anything to celebrate, but. Everyone apparently this morning thought the Fed would then back off or lower rates. I, I don't think that they're going to, but, but who knows? 61. So AL is back down around, broke 13 yesterday. Still think we did the right thing getting out fast, but if you held it, it went. Again, you could have put the stop at break even and wrote it down. Could have done it. Hard to sit and wait all day for the possibility of that going and then not making any money, though. So, again, how many times have things reversed that we've been up a good amount of money? In January, far too many. So, that's the thing. You thought today was Wednesday? Today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, and then it's the weekend, and then uh, what is the tax deadline, Monday or Tuesday? They, they changed it now. It's never on the 15th anymore. Here we go. Imping. Patience is a virtue right now really wasn't anything good. What would we have done? If we hadn't done this, what would we have done? Nothing. There was nothing else to do. <laughs> Literally. We could have done meta, but I don't think I would have done it. This is just a snail. Now let's try and, what, is this up for another reason? Because it's trying to go again. I, I'm not going to do two things like I said. I, I don't think I would have done this over Infi if I had seen it, but I did not look at this. Either way, is this up for another reason other than the market? Does anybody know? Here we go, Infi. Isn't it strange that Twitter doesn't trade anymore? Like, we're never going to trade that again. It's gone. It's still so strange that Twitter isn't a public company anymore that we can't ever trade again. It's just gone. Gone, gone with the wind. I think we're soon going to get out of this, and I think it's soon going to go. Nice if the market helped us. Again, this market, this is an impossible situation for the market right now. There's too much mixed data. Like, too many people can't make up their mind what to do. It's confusion. That's what happens when you're in a range. You don't have power to the upside, and you don't have enough power to the downside. You have people that are long, they're still up, they don't want to sell. You have shorts that try to come in, but they can't get the momentum to the downside. We've been there. That was January. You have people that go long, and there it's not enough money or power to move the market to get through and break through the point of actually having any follow through. So it's just zero conviction, sideways range. I mean, we're going into the second week of April. So January, February, March. I mean, we could be range bound in the market. I said this before into the fall. Like we might not get out of that range till the end of the year. 
So buyer beware, <laughs> you know, beware of it all. I mean, we have to stick to selective picks. That's the only way we're going to make money. You can't force the market to do something. Here we go, Infi. It's a snail and we love snails. We were just talking about this yesterday. We were just talking about snails yesterday with the Escar Go. When we were talking about AAL, we were just talking about this. 61. Look at this thing. Hurry! Fifteen sixty one is low. We're right here. It looks good. Volume's picking up. Let's check out a few other things. CBX maybe will. Is it actually going to move today? I'm still in this option. Like again, in a normal environment, this would be a 185 from the time I took it. It would be at 180, like go already. It's like bizarre, bizarre world. But we are living in a bizarre world. I'm not the only one that thinks that. The world's very strange, it's very different now. It's just strange. We talk about this when we're talking about customer service and the lack of service, even the internet issues I've had for the last five months and, and like calling every day for the last two weeks, like it's, it's, it's absurd. Like we're living in a very strange time to be alive and we just have to find our own footprint and make our own happiness where we are because we're not gonna change the craziness of the outside world, so. This is going to break. I know it is. Just got to wait. We've literally doubled in volume. More than doubled in volume just since I've been talking here about it. So it's going to go. So I wonder if something else was going on with this because this is reaching up and again I didn't do it and I'm happy with what I did but I can't help but think this is for some other reason that this is getting bought because this the market does not look like this I think it's too late to do it now though way too late well there must be something else going on with that it's getting bought is Kramer talking about it Jackie I know you always watch watch what Kramer says or Gen T, is Kramer talking about buying Meta or something? No? talk about the market but I don't want to get off this because if I move off this it could drop and we could miss the exit so I think it's more important to just stay on the trade we're in here you know as snaily as it is and then if we don't have time to lecture we'll I'll lecture tomorrow so what is out tomorrow I think I think JPM is the main one tomorrow so again whatever this does today we'll see how it closes I'll look at it tonight but 
it's neither here nor there because it's tomorrow is the day. This is earnings in the morning in the pre-market. And I have to look at what else, but I think this is the biggest one for tomorrow. And actually, now that I looked at that, you see that that's red. So the banks are red. So the SPY is going to fail. Q's might only be up because of Meta, actually. But I don't know why that's rallying. So here's the cues. Here's the spy. Again, Tesla not doing anything. And we're waiting on anything. Oh, there is news on Meta. Well, there you go. There's news on Meta. Uh, WFC is tomorrow. Let's take a look. Wow, this talk about a snail. Infi's Ooh. moving more than this. Look at this. Not moving at all. The range on this today is like 20 cents. Look. Woo. You lost the charts? I can reset it. I think every time I change a screen, I think it just... Do you see Infi now? Infi's up. I think it's just when I flip to a different chart, something happens, Gen T. Do you see Infi? Okay, yeah. I think it, there's just a time delay. So my wish and prayer is that we can get out of this by 10.15. I do not want to be in this till 12 o'clock to make 32 cents, but I don't know. It is a snail, but it's not doing anything wrong. We've been up in it this whole time. It looks great to break. The market may actually help us here shortly. It's starting to fail. Banks are falling. In fact, the only thing I see rallying is actually Meta. But I figured there was something on that, so I guess it was news. But I didn't see that this morning. Or I still don't think I would have done that over this, honestly. I would have been worried about the market. I would have been worried about the market failing oh. and pulling that down. And you see what the banks are doing here now, too. In fact, JPM, we could have done this. Actually, we could have done this today. We actually could have done this, and if we had, we've already been done. Look at that. In fact, JPM may set up again. I don't really want to do anything else, but but this is this is going to set up again in here. Uh, subscription services. That's what they're all doing now. So Meta's going to do that. Twitter's going to do it. That's what they're all doing to make money. They need, they need income. I guess advertisers have slowed down advertising dollars. That's interesting. So JPM actually, this, this does look good. I don't know here. I really didn't want to do two things though. Like, I almost am debating if we just do JPM and just kill the MV. It's not going to wait for me, though. 127.
gosh darn it, I said I didn't want to do two things today. If you want to do JPM here, you could put the stop at 128.10. I'm going to do what I said and only stick with the stick with the snail. I'm going to, I'm just going to stick with the infi. But, but if you want to do this, you could do it right in here. 45, wherever you get filled, 128.10. It's, it's a good entry. Targets 127, 126.75. If you're losing patience with this, you could do it. I, I have to stick to my rules here. I said I wasn't going to do with them more than one thing. I said I wasn't going to be aggressive today. I said we were going to wait till earnings season to get crazy. I'm going to follow my rules. I'm just, I'm, I'm impatient like everybody else here, but this really isn't doing anything wrong. But you could do JPM. This, 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 this looks good. But I'm going to stay with this. Let's see. Oh, you killed it? You got out of this? With what? Like 10 cents. Jackie killed the infi. Oh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, 61 is the low in Infi. All we need is two more pennies and then go. So in an ideal world, what do I want to do tomorrow? I don't even care. Whatever is good. So we'll look at everything that's reporting tomorrow morning and make a decision accordingly. So do I think everything is going to do the same thing? No. So not all the banks are going to do the same thing and they start tomorrow and carry into next week. But they're not all going to be the same, just like tech isn't anymore either. So it's, you know. But I, it's neither here nor there to me what we do. Here we go. I have no bias in either one of those tomorrow. No favorite. No favorites. But I will say one thing. After the first week, like starting tomorrow and next Friday, whatever next Friday is, whatever the 21st, after one week of earning season, we're going to know if we're going to get some movement in the market and stocks like, do you know what I mean? We were talking about this yesterday, how the first quarter of this year was like a bust for earnings. Things didn't go right. They didn't have any follow through. You can't figure out where the earnings even was when you look in the chart. Like so many things were just like nothing burgers. We're going to know in a week. One week from tomorrow, if this quarter is going to be the same thing. I don't think it's going to be. But we'll know in, in a couple of days if it's going to be another season like that. Or we're actually going to get things to move. And again, it could be to the upside, could be to the downside. I don't, I don't know. I don't know and I don't care. I'm just saying. Can you believe this came down and didn't go yet? Here it is again. Oh, it did hit 60. It hit, it did hit 1560. Woo. Let's look at the market. Okay, did we have a number at 10? Let me look. Did we? I don't know, maybe CVX will go today. Do we have a number at 10? What did fast do? What a mess, look at that thing. Man, we would have been burned badly in that. We would have taken it, gotten stopped. Then we would have taken it again. 
Meh. We were better off with the snail today because that just didn't act right. And I saw it and I got off of it because I said, eat. It's unfortunate that was too messy. Here we go, Infy. Looks like we had some kind of number point at 10 because the market's moving. Hope today's a day for CVX. Crossing my fingers. Crossing my fingers, CVX goes today. But again, in a normal market, that would have been up 10 points already in a week. So it's just... There we go, we're gonna get this now. It really isn't a bad trade if it gets to 15.50, considering where we originally took it and the original stop, how I sized it. It's really not a bad trade. It's just taking a long time, that's all. Any questions while we're sitting here waiting for this? There, there, there we go. Come on, it just broke. Yay, let's see if it'll continue. Jeez, that took long enough. Here we go. It's, like I said, this really never did anything wrong. Never did anything wrong. Fifty-seven, fifty-six, fifty-five. Every penny, counting it. You can get out right here if you want, though. You gotta go to work, if you have things to do today, if you've lost patience with this, you can just get out. Let's look at the market quick. No, it looks like something happened at 10 o'clock, right around here, then we pushed up, and I don't wanna be bothered researching it now but it looks like we had some kind of number because this just pushed up at that based on that timing there but so I don't think it goes anywhere okay here we go we're trying to get in feed of 1550 see if it can break that in if not I'm probably going to be out Right now, the most important thing is the consistency till we get some movement in some, some things or some fabulous, fabulous, fabulous gaps where we're looking for piggy targets. We just have to take what we can get and book the money as fast as we can. And I tomorrow could be a big day. We, it, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I have no idea how these things act tomorrow morning, but they're going to affect the market. That I can tell you. Fifty-four. Here we go. Yay. I think Goldman is Monday or Tuesday. I'll look it up then when we're done. It's a long morning, but it wasn't stressful. So we'll take it. No stress is where we need to be. Low stress, no stress. Zero stress and we can help it. Here we go, Infi. Q 
you imagine a life if we had no stress? We'd all look like we were 25. <laughs> 53. Uh, I don't want this to bounce here. Just keep going. Fifty-four, fifty-three. Who's still in the empty? Jackie made a little bit, killed it. Who's still in this? This is so snaily. I thought it was going to go to 50. Now it's bouncing at 53. Uh, Roman, are you still in it? Anybody else? Roman's still in it. What if we had snails every day? Wouldn't be the end of the world. We make money every day, it's okay. Something's going on here. I gotta look it up. Something's going on here because we are getting a push. We are getting a push here right now as we speak. And I can't put the TV on because I'm talking, but that might be why this Infi just didn't break 50 yet. I'm just gonna take the screen off for two seconds, people, and I'm gonna just go to see if we had anything, anything at all. It just happened here because the market is pushing. If he looks good though, hold on. What time was that? 10 o'clock? No, I don't see anything. Let's go to CNBC's website. I don't see anything. I have no idea. It looks like something happened though because we're getting a push. But I do not see anything. So. That's that. Strange. We need to get out of this soon though because the market is pushing up. So I didn't think this was gonna happen. And again, I'm let, laying low in that, but one more push in this, we gotta be out of the empty. So I didn't see any data at 10, but we started making that lift at 10 and I mean, I could put the news on later, but I don't, I don't know why we're doing it, but it looked like a newsy thing or something came out because it happened right, right at 10. We broke out there. Again, I think the market's going to wait to see what the banks do tomorrow. So we'll cross our fingers and maybe CVX will go today. It's trying. So... Definitely looks like something happened here. Hmm. Anyways, we're not gonna have time to go over this snow today. We do have time, we'll do it tomorrow or Monday, but long story short, the snow, we jumped the gun in the snow and nobody called me on it. And then when I went back and looked at it, I said, oh crap, we jumped the gun on that because we really should have never taken a stop in that because the real only first entry and that actually did go and did work. And not till I went back and looked at it, of course that was a day of internet problems. Like I just, I thought it triggered, but it didn't, it did not. And we were in it and I jumped the gun on that or it opened late, which could have, could have been the case too, but it didn't trigger. So it might've opened late, but it didn't trigger. So 
that was what I wanted to go over in that. It's hard sometimes when stuff's moving so fast in the morning. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? We're having a good day. It's just slow. Really looks like something happened there in the market, but can't find anything. But to think anyone would go long based on today's data into the night before, the day before banks report, after the scuttlebutt with banks and the bank collapses, I mean, why would you do that? Like, ridiculous to do that, actually. Unless you're just going to go on the market for a day trade and get out quick. Well, we got down to 53. And I did not get out. I, I, I just, I might be in this all day. <laughs> it wasn't my plan. Who's still in this with me? Roman? Is that it? Looks like everybody else got out. <laughs> uh, let's look at Apple. But whatever we do tomorrow isn't going to be a stamp. We do Wells Fargo, that's going to move. We do JPM, that's going to move too. And again, I can look and see what else is out tomorrow, but we won't have a snail tomorrow for sure. But <laughs> the last two days we're doing snails. Let's look at Apple. No volume in this. Weird. Oh, Roman got out too. Oh my God, I'm the only one left in Infi. Well, the, this is breaking out. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's why the queues are breaking out, too. I don't know. Could be. Because Apple is such a big part of the queues. Maybe it's just Apple. Maybe that's the only reason. You got tired of it. I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to stick it out here and see. So I guess I'm the only one left in Infi. Let me see if there's anything else going on and we'll go over this. And, and we'll see if there's anything else. DKS. No, I don't see anything else. 